Hey Swisses! So it has been cold and windy and rainy all day, therefore we need to make something warming. So in today's video we are going to be making taco soup in the Instant Pot. So let's go spice things up. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do is turn on the saute button and let it heat up. Once your pot starts to heat up, we are going to add one pound of ground beef, hamburger meat, and of course break up your meat. And we're just going to cook it till it is um, almost all the way cooked through, just like this. And I'm going to add a half of a large onion or one small onion that I already chopped up. Stir it into your meat. Now this meat is very lean, so it doesn't have a lot of fat in it, but if you have some ground beef that has a lot of fat in it, you will want to drain it first. But um, we get our meat from Costco and it doesn't have a lot of fat in it. And just continue to cook this till the meat is all the way cooked through and the onions become translucent. All right, to the pot, I'm going to add one package of taco seasoning. And a half a can to one can of chopped green chilies. And then go ahead and stir it. Now we're gonna add two to three cups of beef broth. I am actually adding two and a half cups. And the reason why you wanna add it now is you wanna kinda of scrape off anything that's stuck to the bottom of the pan. This kinda of helps deglaze the pan by adding this um, so you won't get that annoying burn notice. Now you want to add one can of diced tomatoes. A lot of times I use the diced tomatoes that has the with green chilies in it. Um, that just makes it easier and then you don't even have to purchase a can of green chilies. So just add the can right to the pot. And then one can of corn. You want to just add all the liquid and everything that is in this can. And then one can of black beans and one can of kidney beans. And of course you want to just drain and rinse all the liquid out of the cans. Now give it a good stir so that all of the ingredients are mixed well. And of course you'll want to turn off the saute button. And now you want to put the lid on and turn it to sealing. All right, so now I'm going to turn on the soup broth button and I want to cook it for 15 minutes and then I'm going to let it naturally release for 10 minutes. All right, so it's been naturally releasing for 10 minutes. So now I'm gonna release the valve. All right, time to open it up. Time to stir it. And now I'm gonna show you how I plate my soup up. So after you put your soup in a bowl, you'll wanna add some Mexican style grated cheese, um, or you can just add regular cheese. Some sliced olives. If you don't like olives, obviously you don't have to add this to it, but I love olives. A dab of sour cream. And then some Fritos. Um, a lot of times we use the plain scoopable Fritos, but I really love the chili Fritos as well. But the scoopable one works great because <laughs> you can use it as a spoon. And you just usually put that on the side so then you can just scoop it. Well, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to share it with your friends and family. And thank you guys so much. Bye, and see you in the next video.